Welcome to Simran Memorial, home of the Spartan Way. Today is Monday, October 24th, 2022, and it is an A-Day. This is your Etsy. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may now be seated. Flag football intramural are starting today at 1.45 p.m. on the lower 40 field. Any girls interested in playing should plan on attending intramurals or contact coach Montano. You can also swing by the athletic office and get all your questions answered. With Halloween coming up, we wanted to remind students of the do's and don'ts when it comes to celebrating Halloween at Cimarron. No costumes, unfortunately, are allowed. No mask and no face paint. Any students caught will be sent to the discipline office, so please have your Halloween celebrations off campus and not during school hours. Soccer, a very popular sport at Samara Memorial. The men's team is having a great year. They are second under the 5A table. It's the women's phenomenal soccer team that is currently undefeated. Let's take a look and see what that's all about. All right, can we do some passing drills first though? Yeah. All right. Yes, coach. Let's go. After school, it's another day of practice and Coach Zuniga has the women's team working on skills. Make sure your foot is aiming at who you want it to go to. Practicing strategy, all for the next upcoming game. Just the talent on these girls is amazing. Yelling! And it's this group that is right now 12 and 0, sitting in first place on the 4A table. But what you can't see is the undefeated streak that stretches all the way back to last year. When I took over last year as the head coach, I was the JV coach for six years, and then taking over in my wildest dreams, I never dreamt that we would be on a streak. A 37 game undefeated streak. The last time they lost was the first preseason game last year in 2021. <sighs> One game at a time, right? We never look to like what's gonna happen at the end. We just try to look at one game at a time and thank God it keeps going and going, but you know, you never know. <laughs> The longest women's soccer winning streak is 119 games by St. Thomas Aquinas High School that happened way back in 1994 to 1998. While our squad is not quite there yet, it is quite an achievement for these ladies to be proud of. It's a lot of pressure obviously entering the game and everybody knowing that you're on a winning streak so like the pressure is very there but I'm really proud of every single one of us for always putting in the work off and on the field and always doing what we love most. It makes me feel proud to be able to work with them because I know a lot of these girls have cried on and off the field because of this sport. So it's not like they go on the field and they're like, it's just another day. Like they literally play their hearts out every time they step on that field. And you might be thinking to yourself that the streak alone is enough, but along the way, this team won a state championship. There's no feeling like when we've won that state championship. And it wasn't just like, oh, we won the state championship. It was who I won it with. It was the girls that won it and the bond that they had and the love for each other that we all have. It was actually awesome for me because that was my first year doing high school soccer due to COVID and like my freshman year getting cut off. So coming into um, high school, just playing on a soccer team and winning state for the first time was just an awesome feeling. And I'm honestly grateful to experience that. But for now, the streak keeps going, much like these young ladies, on the field and in the classroom. There's no words to let you or these girls know how proud I am of them. They're smart, young, beautiful women, and I think they're all gonna have a great future, and I'm so, so proud of them. And it's a sense of family that keeps them working hard for each other to keep the streak alive and going for as long as possible. It's very important. I feel like if you guys don't have like that bond or that connection on on the field like you do off the field, you can't really relate and work together as you should. Yes, it's more like a group of like sisters and stuff. I feel like we all bond amazing and like we connect a lot and you can see that on the field. Spurs on me! Spurs on three! One, two, three, Spurs! 
So come out and show support for our women's soccer team and for our senior night. You might see one more win added to that streak. This is Yureti reporting from CMTV. Seniors, if you need help completing your FAFSA, college applications, resumes, or scholarships, come by the College and Career Center in the Counseling Office for help during your lunch. Simra Memorial will be hosting a trunk or treat on Thursday, October 27th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Please come and enjoy a night of fun and get sweet treats and play games at each trunk that you visit. This event is open to all families in the CMHS community, including our elementary and middle schools. Also, if you want to help out with the trunk or treat, BSU is hosting a candy drive for the CMHS trunk or treat on Thursday the 27th. We need tons of candy for all of the trunk or treaters that we are expecting, so please show your Spartan spirit and bring your unopened bags of individually wrapped candy to room 204. Remember Spartans, here at Simran, the C is for commitment, the M is for motivation, the H is for honor, and the S is for success. Bye!